Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is so foggy out, so I couldn't record downstairs. So I'm recording upstairs. So I'm finally going to be bringing back wrap up videos. So I'm going to wrap up January's books. I read nine books out of my 77 goal which I'm really proud of myself. Six of them were audiobooks, two were physical, and one was an ebook. Okay, so while I'm at work, I'm chopping, I'm cutting, I'm prepping, so I'm able to listen to audiobooks more. And then by the time I'm home, I'm like exhausted. Sometimes I'm like, I just don't wanna read, so I've been doing a whole lot of audiobooks. And please don't beat yourself up when you're strictly doing audiobooks for a while because we're human and we're allowed to read in any shape or form and however way we can ingest books. And for me, it's been audiobooks lately. And that brings a total of 3,188 pages. I read The Carrying by Ada Limon, which is a poetry book. Then I read The Wife Stalker by Liv Constantine. I read One by One by Ruth Ware, Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty, It Happens One Summer by Tessa Bailey, It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, I also read November 9th by Colleen Hoover, The Spanish Love Deception, um, The Last Thing He Told Me. Okay, let's talk about, I really feel like you can't really judge poetry books like that because it's poetry it's self-expression it's something me as a poetry writer i know that you cannot be too critical when it comes to poetry because it is poetry it's a self-expression so i gave this book five stars i give all poetry books four or five stars like if i get sucked in and i can't put it down that's a five star i think this one i gave it four or five something like that but that's my rating system for poetry books nothing less than four or five stars because this is something that's deep to the writer. They're like peeling layers of themselves to give us this poetry. So that's my reading system for poetry books, which I will be reading more this year. The Wife Stalker by Liv Constantine. Oh my God. I was not expecting this book to turn out how it did. Like, listen listen this was a book that i was reading with um jen over at vigo and co um she's amazing by the way shout out to her um and let me tell you this book i'm glad she recommended it to me like this wasn't on my tv dark but this was an unsuspected read and oh my god it's a thriller so just know there's like many twists and turns and I was not expecting the story to be how it was. I really was cheering for the villain the entire time. <laughs> I'm twisted like that. Um, so yeah, I gave that book five stars. There's a lot of five stars. A lot of five stars. Like a lot. I actually gave the wife stalker four stars i gave the white stalker four stars because it was good but i was mad about the ending um then i read nine perfect strangers by leanne mariardi and let me tell you go look at my reading and watching video um that i did on this book so i actually read the book so i can watch the show and in this one instance, I actually enjoyed the show more than the freaking book. I did give the book four stars. But the show, the show was superb and amazing. Like this book will give you parts that you will laugh. And then other parts that you're like, huh? And it's slow. And it just drags a little bit too much. But it was still good. Then I read It Happens One Summer 
I gave that book five stars. Listen, the spiciness. I was like, I was over here fantasizing about fishermen. It was, it was that spicy. I feel like the storyline and everything pulled together so nicely in this book. And it's like definitely romance, like heavy romance. It's like so, so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Then I read the Spanish Love Deception because I was like, oh my God, I'm on a romance kick. I'm going to keep it going. And um, one of my Instagram followers told me that this was her, this is her favorite book and she reads it constantly so i was like oh my god i want to see what this book is about the spanish love deception was top tier romance listen i'm not a big romance reader but lately i feel like i'm a romance reader like i've always been a thriller reader fantasy but lately it's been all about the romance and I feel like 2022 is going to be the year that I read strictly romance. Like most of the time, most of the time. Okay. I gave that book five stars. It was amazing. I love the storyline. I love that they incorporated so much Spanish into the book because I was like, yes, like, oh my God. And like the lengths he went to, to like get her, get her to notice him. Like he, I had a feeling that he always liked her, especially when he volunteered to like go to Spain with her. Like who goes to Spain with their coworker for no reason. I was like, as soon as he was like, yeah, I'll go with you. I was like, this boy loves him. This boy loves him. Like I knew from jump, I was like, mm yeah but it was so good and so sweet and i enjoyed this so much then i read november 9th because i needed to be gutted and i gave that book five stars <sighs> colleen hoover always guts me november 9th lily is a girl that she was a famous actress and um she ends up being in a fire and she ends up meeting this guy that he's like yeah i'm your boyfriend now but they only meet up one day a year and it spans just one day over a course of five years and let me tell you that book had me gutted like i kept rooting for them to like find each other more but i understand the suspense and it was good and I cried and I was in my feelings and I was like oh my god Colleen Hoover why would you do this to me every single time and then I was like you know what I'm gonna be gutted again so I ended up reading it ends with us <laughs> let me tell you I'm so chaotic I gave that book five stars as well it ends with us hit home like <laughs> let me tell you a warning on it ends with us there is abuse um there's sa in there um there's domestic abuse so be in the right mindset to read this book because it is going to freaking gut you like tear you apart and gut you because you're like the whole entire time that things are happening to her you're like what the fuck like run bitch run like i kept saying that to her like and then and it's just like mm, oh my god like mm, it aggravated me so much but it was so good and it was i i just couldn't put it down couldn't put it down and then when i finally did i cry and it was like tears of happiness but it, i'm also like gutted at the same time and it's just like thank you colleen hoover thank you for all the tears i've shed in the month of january and the last book that i read for january is the last thing he told me and this is a thriller because i was like oh my god i need a palate cleanser i can't do a romance and i can't do like a another um, a sad fiction because i was just like no and this thriller had me 
at the edge of my seat like when you think it was gonna go one way it went another way and she's over here looking for her husband and trying to figure out what secrets he has hidden and takes her stepdaughter to austin austin was it austin or houston somewhere in texas and it's like there's just so many pieces to the puzzle and it just it's like every few chapters the author drops you a piece and then you have to put it together and it was just one of those books so yeah my favorite book of the month was the spanish love deception i feel like if i would have went with colleen hoover i would have been totally biased because i love anything colleen hoover writes but yeah i had to do something that had spanish incorporation i loved it i love the whole banter that they had back and forth and that's why i picked the spanish love deception as my favorite book of january i feel like i talked really fast in this video and i'm so sorry if i did i did not mean to. i was like oh my god i need to record this video and i had my tea so i'm a little like hyper off of it so yeah and from my tbr um i had five books and if you read if watched like my book roulette video um the only one i've read was one by one and i dnf'd wintering so yeah and i actually started the um southern book club's guide to slaying vampires i'm just not in the mood for something like that right now so i put it down i think i'm like one fourth and one third who knows Pew. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this wrap up video. Let me know which of these books that I talked about that you're going to pick up because I want to know. So don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.